Good morning, people. Uh, me and Trucker Brown was having a conversation about uh, blacks, African Americans, and women, and the women that like and dislike us, and so on and so forth. Again, if you ever talk to Trucker Brown, he's going to elevate your conversation. I'll tell you that right now. So, I want to send this message out. <clears throat> um, me, I've, I've dated uh I've dated white, Mexican, never dated Asian. I always want to date Asian. I dated um, Cambodian. Um, but here's my thing. I was, uh, my mom was a crackhead. My dad was an asshole. So I was raised in the hood and I was raised by society. I was a foster kid. I was one of them kids that was in juvenile hall. I was one of those kids that was in foster homes and group homes and stuff like that. And... I just want to give a shout out to all those sisters that I've dated that made me the man that I am today. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, one of the clearest examples is a woman by the name of Janae. Um, I was a kid that was wearing baggy clothes and stuff that was too big for him. Really didn't know how to dress and match clothes. and um, I didn't know what a date was. I didn't know how to treat a woman. Uh, I just go off what I see off pornos and TV and different things like that. Well, it was, uh, it was, there was several women that, that made me the man I am today to where I know how to talk to women. I know how to finesse. I know how to, how to pay attention and listen. I know how to focus. I know how to, uh, make a woman feel good. And, and I'm not just saying that as a, uh, sexual way. I mean, mentally and physically, emotionally, I know how to, I know how to take a woman and, and, and out of whatever situation that she is and make her a better person and vice versa. But, um, you know, it, it was like, I didn't know how to, like the first restaurant I ever went to, a lot of women would take me out because I didn't have the money to take them out. You know, because being successful is not something that you're, you're taught in the hood. To be successful in the hood, you're an OG. You know, you murdered, you done been in jail, you, you got all the weed and different things like that. Um, so one of the women name was Janae and uh, she took me to the Cheesecake Factory. Of course, I'm in the Cheesecake Factory with pants way too big, um, with a shirt that don't fit, you know, and, uh, and I'm thinking I'm looking good because, you know, my pants got 15,000 goddamn creases in them and all that stuff from uh, being so baggy or whatever. And she took me and she, and she was the first that I can remember that started to mold me into to being a better man. She taught me how to eat with a knife and fork. I know it sounds weird. I ordered some. Of course, I didn't know what it was. Uh, I was like, well, what's this? You know, she was like, well, just try it. So I tried it when I got it. You know, I'm a savage. You know, I'll grab it with my hands and, uh, you know, if I get a pork chop, grab it with my hand, run. Uh. She was like, no, baby, just here, get a knife and a fork. And I still do it backwards, you know, because I'm right-handed. You're supposed to have it, whatever, whatever. But so she taught me how to how to cut my food and how to eat properly. Put the napkin in my lap and you know eat, clean my mouth. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, like my lady now, she's upgraded me so much to where I can't even drink tap water. I can, but I prefer not to because it's just disgusting. <laughs> but um, you know, and there were several women along the way that that introduced me to a a new way of thinking, a new life, a new outlook on everything and it was all because women took time i've always had a mama complex i always dated older women i mean my woman now you know she's uh at least good six seven eight years older than i am um but you know the the, the word that been used for me is i'm un i was dating one chick and her friends were like he is uncivilized with no home training which is true you know now that i know the proper way to do things you know um <clears throat> Here's a, another example, and this is when I'm way older. I'm with my woman that I'm with now, and uh, when we make macaroni and cheese, we like to put smoked gouda in it. You know, before, I didn't know what smoked gouda was. I, the cheese I'm used to came out of a plastic wrapper, you know. Uh, so she would like shred the, smoke, shred the smoked gouda for me while I, you know, get the Velveeta and all the other cheeses that go in macaroni and cheese. So the smoked gouda had red wax on it. I didn't know what that was, you know. So I shredded the red with the cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> like how you not know what that is? Again, I wasn't, I don't know how to cook because I wasn't, I wasn't raised cooking. Grandma always cooked, you know, <clears throat> and there's certain uh, home training that, uh, that, 
you would naturally teach your children. But again, I was raised in foster care and group home. So I was raised around people that was getting paid just to have me there. So they didn't take the time to teach me anything. As long as they was getting that check, you know, they were perfectly fine. So I shredded the red wax with the smoked Gouda and she was like, what are you doing? I'm like, what do you mean? You know, and of course I got an attitude because I felt embarrassed that I didn't know that that was wax, you know, on the, uh, on the, uh, <clears throat> on the, on the cheese. Um, but as I, as I got older, and this is before I was with my lady, as I got older, you know, women was like, get out those baggy clothes and find you some pants that fit. And they would take me shopping. That's when I got in introduced to Kenny Cole and Steve Madden and you know, button downs and, and, uh, you know, properly grooming myself. Uh, my ex, uh, it was a chick by the name of, uh, Melissa, Melissa Smith, black girl, blue eyes. She the one introduced me to what a manicure and pedicure was, you know, she was like, come on, you can't be, you know, touching and rubbing women with rough hands and messed up toes. You know what I mean? So she took me to get a manicure and pedicure <clears throat> and shout out to that lady who gave me my first manicure and pedicure because she she took my arm right and see how big my arm is right and she started to stroke it with both her little tiny hands and she started to stroke it and while she was stroking she was looking at me and smiling like you like that don't you see you like that don't you and, and, and Melissa over there just laughed her ass off because she know she know how much of a pervert I am you know so I want to say this to, to the black women that's out there, to all women that's out there. Um, see, the difference between a lot of other people is I have I have potential to be great in a lot of different ways. And it took a it took several women to see that in order to, you know, polish that diamond in the rough. So, yeah, you know, like I sag my pants, but I don't do it on purpose. I just have no ass and I can tighten my belt up as much as I want. But it's for whatever reason, they still slide off my butt a little bit. But um, <clears throat> I this is this is my personal thank you, because it was mainly sisters that that took the time out in order to to groom a man. I know you might feel like I don't want to teach this man in order to please the next woman, but by you taking the time out with me in order to teach me how to talk and and how to present myself and how to dress myself and how to properly groom myself and and again a lot of people was like well you should know that again i wasn't raised the traditional way that a lot of people were raised uh, it took it, it took society it took people who saw the potential in me and blessing me with some of the knowledge that they were naturally grown with you know common sense is not that common you know it's something that needs to be taught it's, it's, it's something that needs to be uh put to work you need an example you need to see oh okay that's how you uh <clears throat> you you get into that situation or get out that situation that's how you neutralize that situation that's how you maneuver in that situation that that you're in at that time uh, so this is this is my I personally I personally thank you I personally thank you for taking the time out to uh, make me a better man and make me the man that I am today because uh, <clears throat> I didn't have the examples of a mother and father to show me how to be a man or how to treat a woman and again, I was, I was, you know, when I was a kid, I was, like I said, my mom was a crackhead. So I rarely went to elementary school. So I have no clue. <laughs> if you go back and look at my records, you'd be like, you never went to elementary. No, man. no. Cause I was out there, you know, doing wrong and, and being manipulated and taking, you know, taking advantage of by society. So, um, I thank you ladies. I thank you because without you it wouldn't be no me it, it, see all this you see with all these videos and this positive outlook on life and the way that I look and interpret things is, is because I've dealt with women that saw the potential in me and uh, even though you might not never see this videos a lot of you might not never see this video 
Uh, I just want to put it out there that you can make a man a better man. You can take a boy and make him a man. But you got to understand that that man that you turn him into might not be the man that God has for you or that's um But if you if you if you do take the time at least you know that I want you to know that your contribution <clears throat> to a particular individual that knows no better, that you've taught better, uh, will not go unnoticed. Not only by the other women that he might date, but by um, the people that he's around. The example that you have set and, and the the different um, uh, the different. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The different mannerisms or critiques that you have instilled into that individual that you chose to take the time out to do that with. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. Back to what I was saying. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Everybody that I've dealt with who I've taught those those life lessons to, uh, even though they don't know that it might have came from you particularly, I want to thank you. I thank you for everything that you have taken the time out to show me, groom me, and establish and instilled in me. So this is to all my sisters out there because it was, yeah, the sisters is the one that took the time out to make the man that you see today. You know, a handsome, charismatic, confident, you know, individual. Such, such a debonair, mm, Rico Suave around this thing. <laughs> and, uh, Last time. I want is that's a West Coast thing <laughs> when a food truck pull up and uh, uh, the the bonita mija hops out, you know, to whip up them tacos or whatever. But uh, again, uh, I just want to thank you. Okay, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and everybody that I've encountered after you instilled those uh, qualities in me. Thanks you. Okay. All right, I hope that works for, for you know, but I know some people are gonna be like, I don't want to train no man. I don't want to train no man. You're you're supposed to be a man. I don't want to train no man, but you gotta understand that that my generation, I'm 37, so anybody 37 or younger, 30, I'm gonna say 40 and under, um, that wasn't necessarily raised in a house with mom, dad, successful parents. You know, it's getting back to that, but as of right now. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, it's the right brother. Uh, I know this ain't a trucking message, but this is a message, you know, and then no matter what race you are, race, creed, whatever you believe in, uh, it, it'll, if you're doing YouTube, it'd be nice for you to thank um, some people, the females in your life that, uh, that added to the person that you are today. All right? So go on and thank them. You ain't gotta say they name, just thank them. You can make it very general. You know, but just thank the people in, in your life. You know, if it is a mom and dad, if it's a cousin, auntie, uncle, if it's people that you dated, people that you uh, know, people that you was raised around, just thank them. You know, how hard is it? It's just a video away. That's it. It's the right brother. I'll holler at you. Peace.